Hello and welcome to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. Today our guest is Father Colin Xavier and we're going to be discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's messages from Medjugorje. Our Lady has been appearing in Medjugorje since June the 24th, 1981 and still is today. And there's many messages from her for all the world. Welcome to the program, Father. Thank you, Marilla. Thank you for inviting me to this program. It's a joy to be yes, here. You came on this program in 2004 or something many years ago. Yes, it has been yeah, quite some time. It's good to catch up again with you and have you back. Thank you, thank you. And so we'll be we'll be discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message. And you were just talking a little bit off camera before that you actually met one of the visionaries, Miriana. I did, Mariana and Ivan. Oh, and Ivan uh, as well. Yeah. Ivan, ha Ivan had been here to Melbourne. That's right. Yeah. A few times, um, but I was very happy to when I visited Medjugorje. Uh, he came with Mariana to lead us in the Angelus and. Mm. I did have a few words with him, talk, uh, spoke to him a little while. Yeah. Um, I met Mariana when she was, had invited us to the chapel. Ah, and I beautiful. think that's the afternoon when she had the vision yeah. and received a message from our Blessed Mother. Mm. And that particular afternoon, Mary spoke about little ones, mm. little children, yeah. little babies. Uh, that was a beautiful experience, mm. um, a time of grace for me yeah. to be at the beautiful shrine oh, of Medjugorje. All right, well, we'll start by reading the first message, the, the most recent one, which was the 2nd of September 2016. And Our Lady said to the world, especially to unbelievers, Dear children, according to the will of my son and my motherly love, I am coming to you. My children, but especially to those who have not yet come to know the love of my son. I am coming to you who think of me and who invoke me. To you I am giving my motherly love and I am carrying the blessing of my son. Do you have pure and open hearts? And do you see the gifts, the signs of my presence and love? My children, in your earthly life, be led by my example. My life was pain, silence, and immeasurable faith and trust in the Heavenly Father. Nothing is by chance, neither pain nor joy, nor suffering nor love. All of these are graces which my Son grants to you and which lead you to eternal life. Of you, my Son asks for love and prayer in Him. As a mother, I will teach you to love and to pray. In Him means to pray in the silence of your soul and not only reciting with your lips, it is even the least beautiful gesture done in the name of my son. It is patience, mercy, and acceptance of pain and sacrifice done for the sake of another. My children, my son is looking at you. Pray that you may also, that you also may see his face. Pray that you also may see his face and that it may be revealed to you. My children, I am revealing to you the only and real truth. Pray that you may comprehend it and be able to spread love and hope. That you may be able to be apostles of my love. In a special way, my motherly heart loves the shepherds. Pray for their blessed hands. Thank you. So 
This is such a such a beautiful message and so it is. It is. perfect for today. You know, it's just I'll start by reading like one line at a time and we'll just talk yeah, about yeah. what we think, you know, it means. <coughs> Our lady said, Dear children, according to the will of my son and my motherly love, I am coming to you, my children, but especially to those who have not yet come to know the love of my son. So she's coming to all of us, but especially, you know, the ones that um, yes. don't know the love of yes. Jesus. So what, what are your yes. thoughts? I think Mary, <coughs> being a mother, has always, over the centuries for that matter, uh, tried to reach out to her children. Mm. Whether we know Jesus or not, we are her children. Because Jesus gave her to us, especially while he hung on the cross at Calvary and said to John, Behold your mother. And Mary will always come. Whether mm. we reject her or not, she is a mother. Yeah. And so constantly she comes asking us, is, not only to the, uh, yeah, the ones who don't know her son, mm. but she also appeals to the ones who know her son exactly. and says, you keep interceding as well. Yeah. You keep praying to open up our hearts to the and son. And it's like she's saying, especially to those who have not yet come to know the love of my son. So we need to ask ourselves, each person, do I really feel like I know the love of Jesus in my life? Right, yes. And I think that's yes. an important thing to just yes. keep reminding yourself. Yes. Do you really feel like you know? And sometimes when you think that way, you might think, I feel a bit empty, or you might think, no, actually, I've had experiences where I'm sure that of God's love, you know? Yes. It's good to keep uh, track. And uh, I think, yeah, that if we can, whatever it is, like, you know, we just reach out, Ask Mary, if you don't know her son, yeah. she will teach us. Yeah. She will teach us. That's beautiful. Um, I'll just read one more line. Our Lady said, I am coming to you who think of me and who invoke me. What would you like to say about that? I'm coming to you. Who think of me and who invoke me. That's beautiful yeah. because a son or a daughter, a child of Mary, mm. we do think of the mother. And we ask the things that I am not able to do. Mm. I'm asking her to invo to intercede for me. Yeah, you know, because she's a powerful mother. Yeah, and she's a loving mother. All right. Well, we'll have to go to a break, but we'll continue okay. with the rest of that. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich. If you've just joined us, we're here with Father Colin Xavier, who is the parish priest at St. Mark's in Faulkner. And that's in Victoria, of course. And we're talking about Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from Medjugorje on the 2nd of September, 2016. So welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you, Mirella. And we'll keep going with the message and we'll talk about it line by line. Our Lady said, To you I am giving my motherly love. And I am carrying the blessing of my son. Do you have pure and open hearts? And do you see the gifts, the signs of my presence and love? I think that's such a beautiful line. Do you see the gifts, the signs of my presence and love? And you yes. think about little things that happen to you throughout the day or just acts of love that strangers might do or people you know might do to you and you just think well that's that's mary's love for me when those little incidences happen throughout the day yes that's how I look to at recognize it. in that moment mm. you know that um not it's not god not only god present in that moment yeah. the gift that we receive of that moment but as mary constantly intercedes for us mary yeah. constantly wants us to open our hearts to see the beauty of that moment, to receive the grace and the gift of that moment. See the presence of God, because Jesus says, I am with you always. And so in that moment, I should be able to recognize the presence of her son yeah. and our God. That's mm. beautiful, yeah, that's true. Then Our Lady went on to say, <clears throat> My children, in your earthly life, be led by my example. My life was pain, silence, and immeasurable faith and trust in the Heavenly Father. 
So there, that's a, I love this message so much because she's telling us how to live. She's saying, live by my example. I'm, I'm telling you how I lived. Follow me, do as I'm doing. I had pain and I was silent and I had immeasurable trust and faith in the Heavenly Father. I just, I love that, those lines so much. <laughs> it, it, is, mm. it is very powerful for any of us to yeah. understand we, because very often we could say, oh, well, she's the mother of God and there's no problem. But she put her faith in God and so yeah. living each day yeah. trying to understand God's plan, you know, but she knew her God would not fail her. Yeah. And um, she did suffer, watch her own son disappear for a few days in the temple. She, uh, when uh, every time the scripture sa says, okay, uh, Mary, w Jesus would do the things as a little kid. Mm. You know, but you, you always see she doesn't get upset about the whole thing because she knows God's plan is yeah. being revealed, yeah. you know. So even right up to the cross, she still believed mm. in the one who had everything in his hand. Yeah. You know, I th we just got to ask her, to ask her for, to teach us yeah. to live our days as a, as a follower, as a witness, as a disciple of Jesus, like she did. Exactly, and it's beautiful also that she shares that she was in pain yes. and she was silent. That she said, so everybody in this world is in pain, like everyone experiences pain in the world, whether yes. you can see it or not, or whether they tell you or not, they are experiencing it. And so the beauty is she's saying, my life was pain, but I was silent. So she obviously didn't say like she complained, she, yeah. she was silent, yeah. but she really put all her trust and faith in Jesus. And I yeah. just think, in the yeah. Heavenly Father. She yeah. reflected silently, yeah. you know, on all that was happening in her yeah. life. Um, and I think it is in, in prayer, mm. it is in meditation, that as we reflect on the life of Jesus, or the sufferings of Jesus, that we begin to understand, because it's the Holy Spirit that keeps leading us and making sense of all that is happening. Yeah. We may not get an immediate answer or a solution, but it is God's Holy Spirit with, uh, that leads us to hold on to say, okay, this is not the end of everything. There is someone who is in control. And I think even my suffering, let's take, take Mary at the foot of the cross. She watched her own son die and that pain, mm. that anguish there. Mm. And so she understands our pain. She mm. understands our suffering. She knows our grief. Yeah. And she's a beautiful mother who will always be there to comfort us. Yeah, that's beautiful. Mm. Our Lady said, Nothing is by chance, neither pain, nor joy, nor suffering, nor love. So when I read that, I was thinking, you know, you reflect on your life and things that happen every day. Nothing has happened every day. Throughout the day, nothing that's happened throughout the day has happened by chance. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, yeah. Um, Good nothing the bad, happens by chance. Yeah. Nothing happens by chance. But uh, for me, I personally feel that every difficulty, every moment, every struggle, every doubt that we have is always held in the hands of God. Mm. He knows and He knows how to bring us out of that uh, difficulty that we are in. Mm. Um, I just, for me, apart from looking at my God, I just I thank our Blessed Mother who is there. Mm. It's constantly there, leading me silently, encouraging me to go on. Yeah. You know. That's beautiful. Our Lady said, All of these are graces which my Son grants to you and which lead you to eternal life. So nothing's in vain. Like I was even talking to my brother on the phone the other day and he's, he's becoming a priest, as I told yes. you off camera. He's becoming a priest and he's six months away, I think about um, he's a deacon now and he was talking about one of the saints and she, he was saying how this saint said if you knew how much how strong and how worth pain is you would ask for more pain like how valuable pain mm. is I can't remember mm. word for word but it was something like how valuable pain and suffering is you would actually ask for more because it is so valuable pain, pain can be uh, very anointed uh, we could um, I would sanctify like you know Whatever the difficulty, my work can be a problem too. Uh, my physical pain can be a problem. Uh, but when I know what Jesus did, you know, I just want to unite my pain with Him. 
Yeah. Uniting my pain with Jesus is uniting with Mary as well. Yeah. And offer it up, offer it, love yes. Jesus in the suffering. Yes. Yes. And it can do amazing things, yes. isn't it? We can, uh, yeah, this is this. Let's sanctify the whole thing yeah. and uh, become the grace for us. Thank you, Father. We're about to go to a break now. You're watching Spirit of Life. Stay with us. We'll be back with more very shortly. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich and if you've just joined us, we are here with Father Colin Xavier from St. Mark's Parish in Faulkner and we're discussing Our Lady Queen of Peace's message from Medjugorje on September the 2nd, 2016. Welcome back to the program, Father. Thank you, Mirella. So we'll continue with the message. Our Lady said, Of you my son asks for love and prayer in him. So that's quite clear there, isn't it? You know, she's Very asking, clear. He's asking for love yeah. and prayer. As a mother, I will teach you to love and I'll teach you. To love and to pray in him means to pray in the silence of your soul and not only reciting with your lips. It is even the least beautiful gesture done in the name of my son. It is patience, mercy, the acceptance of pain and sacrifice done for the sake of another. So that's a, a really strong message there, isn't it? It's like she's saying, I will take you, you talk first. Yes. Tell me. Uh, I love that part where she says, I will teach you. Yeah. And um, it just reminds me of all the other saints also who had this a great love for our Blessed Mother and in their own visions, in their own dreams, like Don Bosco, yeah. uh, we, she would uh, she would come across like Jesus to say, I will give you a teacher. And Mary would say, I will teach you like a real mother she and and that's so beautiful she yeah. is our mother anyway yeah. and she just wants to teach us not just simply with words but also the, by the way i live my life yeah. reaching out to others as jesus did and it's also interesting how she gives us a bit of information about jesus because she says of you my son asks for love and prayer in him so it's like she's saying jesus is asking us for love and prayer in him of, of, of course yeah. uh, uh, um, and that's what we are called to do yeah but sometimes we just don't know how to go about yeah. it. And so the Lord gives us his own mother and says, she will teach you. And Mary says, I will mm. teach you. Yeah. Um, it's so down to earth and so simple that she talks to very ordinary people. Yeah, exactly. You know? it's very, I mean, anyone can understand it. It's so clear. And to pray in him means to pray in the silence of your soul. That's also a beautiful one. So sometimes it's yes. not just... People might think I've got to rattle off all these words, but, but it's just like being in the silence of your soul and, and trying to feel his presence there, isn't it? Meditation in yeah. prayer, reflecting on the life of Jesus. Mm. Um, the more I take time off in reflecting and praying over the life of Christ, I am led into a deeper relationship with him. So it's not just simply my verbal prayers, but in the silence of my heart as I reflect on the life of Christ. That's beautiful. And also, allies, and not only reciting with the lips, it is even the least beautiful gesture. She says, it is patience, mercy, and the acceptance of pain and sacrifice done for the sake of another. So sometimes it's offering up our pain and our suffering for the sake of someone else, you know, mm -hmm. out of love for someone else. Yeah, but if you notice here, Mary doesn't direct anything to herself. Mm. It's all about her son. Yeah. And as I reach out to someone else mm. in compassionate love, a little suffering with them. It's again reaching out to the other person because mm -hmm. I see Jesus in the other person. Yeah, yeah. Becoming more and more like Jesus, yeah. her son. That's the, and that's the that's the that's the trick about getting along with everybody. I think in the world, if you get along, if you see Jesus in everyone, everyone's kind of like your friend, really. <laughs> it is a struggle, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> but it's a but it's a good thing. I think it's a it's it a is good, good. It's a it's a trick. Like I think it's like I feel like you can be friends with anyone if you try and see Jesus in them. If that could happen, yeah. the world would be a, such a different place. Yeah, I mean, some people are difficult, you more know, difficult than others, I guess. But, but that's where we have the the um, the encouragement of the Lord mm. and our Blessed Mother. Yeah. Say, don't give up. Don't yeah. give up. People may be, like Mother Teresa said, if they're ungrateful, 
you carry on being grateful. Yeah. You love them anyway. You yeah. Know? yeah. And I think that's a beautiful uh, uh, help for us ordinary people to be able uh, to make this world a better place. And that's what the Lord wants us. That's what God wants us to do. Yeah. That's why Mary comes constantly encouraging her children and those who don't know her also. Yeah, that's true. So true. Our Lady said, my children, my son is looking at you. I found that powerful. <laughs> like, oh, wow. <laughs> Pray that you may also see his face and that it may be revealed to you. So what did you think of that one? My son is always looking, at, looking you. at you. And pray that you may be able to see his face and that it may be revealed to you. We need to pray that we can see Jesus' face and that he is actually looking at us because sometimes you might feel like you're alone going through your suffering and struggles and, you know, whatever yes, you're going through. Yes, Scripture does talk about God's eyes always on us as mm. creatures. And, um, well, if I, if I know that he's always looking at me, it is a comforting look and an encouraging look, yeah. uh, kind of a protection to ask me to follow, to yeah. follow him. It's beautiful because yeah. you don't feel alone. Um, my children, I'm revealing to you the only truth, the only and real truth. Pray that you may comprehend it and be able to spread love and hope, that you may be able to be apostles of my love. In a special way, my motherly heart loves the shepherds. Pray for their blessed hands. Thank you. So oh, I love that yeah. because for me personally, as a yeah. priest, yeah. Um, Mary loves her priests. Yeah. You know, she loves her priests yeah. uh, because they are able to do, to carry on in memory of Jesus, the Son, mm. the Eucharist. Um, so, but Mary is the mother. She's yeah. the mother of all priests. Yeah. And uh, she encourages her priests and she asks people also to respect their priests. I may not admire everything that a priest does or thing, but I give the priest respect because he belo he is an, an anointed person. Yes. Um, and we priests are called constantly to give good example, to be a witness to Jesus, to be another Jesus. Yeah, Which might, might, it must, it's such a lot to carry really, because like you might be feeling down yourself, but you have to make sure you're strong in your faith, you're strong. And then all the other, because all the people are asking you for guidance, for help. Yes. It's a big job. Prayer is yeah. a secret. <laughs> we need, we priests. Yeah. Also, like everybody else, we need a time for prayer. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. I love how she says, talks about the priests as well all the time. And then, and she's also saying, pray that you may comprehend it and be able to spread love and hope, that you may be apostles of love. In a, in a special way, my motherly heart loves the, the shepherds. Thank you so much for coming on the program, Father. Would you be able to come back again next week? It'll be a joy. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. It'll be joy for us too. You've been watching Spirit of Life. I'm Mirella Rich and our guest was Father Colin Xavier. And we'll see you again next week. Bring